Good afternoon to you. Glad you're able to join us on Newsfeed. Many different news stories in many different parts of our society this afternoon. But we start with the confirmation in the last hour from the presidency that President Cyril Ramaphosa has now decided to suspend the Western Cape Judge President John Flaupe from the Western Cape High Court. The Judicial Service Commission made the recommendation several months ago, back in August, that Flaupe be suspended after it made findings of serious misconduct against him. Flaupe has been found to have tried to influence two constitutional court judges in, casing, in cases involving then-future President Jacob Zuma back in 2008. He's also been accused of serious wrongdoing in the Western Cape High Court, including a public accusation that he assaulted another judge. Mbikazeli Benjamins with the organization Judges Matter. Mbikazeli, good afternoon to you. Is this the right decision by the President to suspend Judge, judge John Flaupe? Good afternoon, Stephen, and to the viewers. Um, yes, we believe that this is the right decision to, that the President taken, has taken. In fact, um, it's, it's been a long time coming because, as you know, the, the JSC made its recommendation several months ago now, and, and since then there have been more accusations against Judge Shope of, of misconduct. So in order to safeguard the, the, uh, the judiciary, especially the integrity and reputation of the judiciary, the president had to take this decision, and, and we believe it is the correct decision. You make the point that um, the JC made its recommendation some months ago, possibly five months ago. Is there any explanation for why it took the president so long or also why he's decided to do it now? I mean, I'm not sure what's happened in the last uh, week or so that would make him take this decision now when he waited four and a half months. Well, we don't have a formal explanation uh, from the presidency, but what we, we can uh, sort of assume and reasonably assume is that this is an unprecedented decision. Um, we've never had the leader of a court being suspended. And so it is not a decision that the president would have taken lightly. And so he would have needed um, some uh, uh, at guidance and maybe advice, especially legal advice, because the other problem is Judge Shope has already filed a, a court uh, application to challenge the JSC's decision to recommend um, his suspension. And so um, it, it was a tricky legal uh, minefield to walk. And so it, it sort of is reasonable that the president would have taken um, some legal advice on this issue. But of course, we would have wished that it happened much sooner, considering the damage that it is called, I mean, his continued stay on the bench uh, causes to the reputation, uh, to the reputation of the judiciary. Well, I mean, the lawyers have got rich off this case for many, many years. I mean, it's incredibly likely Judge Slope will go to court to challenge this decision by the president. Do you think he'll have a strong case, especially if he was already challenging the advice, as you say, by the JSC? Well, um, he has put strong arguments in his papers to say that the JSC should not have chosen to suspend him. Um, but of course, earlier on, the High Court in Johannesburg, had, when, when he brought that initial review, um, the High Court said it's untenable that um, one could read uh, the, the, the law and the constitution to allow the, the, a, a judge who's been found guilty of serious misconduct to stay in office indefinitely until all his court pay, uh, uh, appeals or court decisions have been taken. So in this instance, um, there, there is no legal impediment, and the court told us that it, it's untenable for uh, a judge to, in his in, in Judge Lopez's position to stay. So I think. Um, Overall, and I think the bottom line is that he will be suspended um, because that decision is taken. He will take it on review, but already there is so much uh, that has been said by the courts against that decision. So I, I don't think it's likely that the review will succeed. Well, this is, I mean, this would be my prediction <laughs> of what is likely to happen now. OK, I mean, I'm a television anchor. I'm not supposed to make predictions, but we've all been following this case for years. Judge Lope will go to court. And then he will argue that he should remain in office while all of these court applications are heard. And each court application can take up to 18 months. You go to the Western Cape High Court, you lose, you appeal. You go to the Supreme Court, you lose, you appeal. You go to the Constitutional Court. Um, so there will be a huge fight about whether he should remain in office while all of these challenges are heard. And I mean, that's a fight that itself will probably go to the Constitutional Court. How do you see that playing out? Well, first of all, I, I don't think that it is possible that he will stay in court while um, he challenges these decisions um, or the president's decision because this is a president's 
exercising a constitutional power in terms of Section 177 of the, of the Constitution. So Judge Trepp would have to put up really strong grounds um, for the court to interdict the president because that's what he would, that Judge Trepp would need to do. He would need to interdict this decision. And already the horse has sort of bolted. He's already, the president has taken the decision. So he will be asking the court to second guess a constitutional power. And like I said, there's already so much that has been said by the courts on his particular suspension that I don't think that um, the, the court is likely to, to sort of try and unscramble that egg or try to recover the spilt milk. So in this unique circumstance, I doubt that it will be tied up in the courts. But of course, I can't predict with any certainty that that is what will happen in the future. Judge Lope has been working in the Western Cape High Court, and I presume he's been hearing cases. Some of these cases he may have heard, he needs to give decisions on. If he's suspended now, what happens to those cases? Well, as a, as a condition of the suspension is that um, any judge that is not only him, and in the previous cases, this is what has happened, that when the, when the president makes the decision to suspend the judge, he or she is given an opportunity to finalize any court cases that he might have heard up to today. Um, so he will have an opportunity, if he's maybe had a trial or there's a judgment that is still outstanding, he has to finalize those within a reasonable time, but he still goes on suspension. Wow, I can't imagine having a case before a judge who's then suspended and only after they're suspended hearing the judgment. I mean, I don't know how seriously I would take that if it were me. I mean, this is not a comment about Judge Slope at all. I'm just saying, whatever happened, I would appeal the judgment. Well, remember, before the suspension, that judge is, is a judge of the high court or a, of a, any court in, in this country. And, and until that, the point of suspension, um, he is authorized by law and the Constitution to carry out his, his uh, responsibilities as a judge. So um, until the president makes the decision to suspend, then the judge has to carry on as if they are not suspended. Only after, remember here, um, the judge Trump will not hear any new cases. There will be no new cases that he will hear from today, but any cases that he might have heard last week, three months ago or, or, or whenever, those ones have to be finalized because it will be too disruptive and too costly to bring them before another judge. And Bikazeli Benjamin, thank you very much indeed. Really appreciate the time from Judges Matter. Well, we've been talking to Bikazeli.